Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add the live camera mod to your Gorilla Tech fan game. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you know exactly what it does, it films videos, saves it to your VR. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing that's in Gorilla Tag, but I'll be showing you how to set it up, add it to your game, do all that stuff. If you need any help with this or if something doesn't work for you, please make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and also just join that to be part of my awesome community. Anyways, please like and subscribe because it helps me out so much. And yeah guys, let's get straight into the video. So here we are in our Unity project, but what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description and here you choose the live sdk so this one is for the virtual camera which is what we'll be doing and this one is for mixed reality stuff so here where it says lck sdk as you can see it says gorilla tag uses this sdk so just click go to lck portal and then it's going to make you log in you can log in with your email or continue with meta i'll sign in with my email though and then it sent me a link to verify and now it's going to ask for your information and now when you do that you'll have to create an organization and the dashboard might look a bit different for you depending on you know when you're doing this so the signing up might be different but this part should be the same or similar at least so for your organizations here click create an organization for organization name just make it your game name or you know if you have a company name it could be that now these two you don't have to fill in but organization type just do game developer and now click create organization and now in your organization here you'll see it says your games so just click create game and for game name make it the name of your game so i guess the organization should be your organization name company name whatever and then game name is game name game engine unity as it says unreal and other engines are not supported yet and then these three aren't required so i'll just skip those and click create game and now when you're on this page agree to this confirm this if you want you can read these it says that you're agreeing to not remove the branded powered by live thing which if you played gorilla tag you know that it says powered by live on the tablet thing and not interfering with telemetry and using the latest major or minor version of lck and this one just confirms that your organization allows you to sign this or agree to this and most likely your organization only consists of you it's your game but practically just click these agree to this click agree now here is a sample project which pretty much i assume is just a sample project that has the live creator kit set up so the tablet set up and stuff and then your tracking id here make sure to not share it with anyone that's why it's blurred out right now and then just click download sdk and it'll download and then you can also download the sample project i just did it but i'm not gonna actually open it up so yeah make sure to click download sdk now what you want to do go to unity and just close out of it then go to unity hub go to your project click the three dots go to show and explore then click into your project then go to packages now in here go to the download thing that you downloaded the sdk and click the show and folder button and just double click on the zip file i have winrar so it shows like this but you might have to extract it so now what you want to do open up both tabs here so you have this one and this one and drag this tv.live.lck into the packages folder and since i have winrar it automatically you know extracts it i think and then in here you'll see all these things but make sure that it's in the packages folder of your game but now you can close that go back to unity hub and you can just open up your project so now that it's open so now that our project is open at the top here you'll see it says lck click on that go to open settings and here you'll have your settings so down here for trigger enter tag make it hand tag like this capital h capital t one word and our game name you can make it the name of your game i'll do tutorial game i guess recording file name prefix and album name this is for like the file things when your thing saves i mean i guess i'll just copy it there tracking id go back to the live dashboard and here where it says tracking id click on it and it'll copy it then in tracking id just paste it in there and once again show no one your tracking id keep it secret then the rest of these you shouldn't really need to mess with them and now make sure that's hand tag once again you can close out of that file save go to your gorilla rig gorilla player and now here's the thing you could use finger colliders or you could not use finger colliders that's up to you in my opinion finger colliders would be a lot easier with this so i'll link my finger collider tutorial in the description of this video but make sure that your finger colliders have the hand tag on it you know just follow the tutorial so yeah finger colliders make sure they have hand tag if you don't have finger colliders it's fine it'll just be easier with them because the buttons are kind of small in this but go to your left hand controller go to tag if you don't have hand tag just click add tag create a tag make it hand tag exactly like that capital h capital t all one word click left hand hold down control right hand so select them both make the tag hand tag and then click on left hand layer add layer make one called left hand and make another one called right hand by just typing it in on left hand make the layer left hand on right hand make the layer right hand now select them both again scroll down click add component search for sphere collider click on it turn on this trigger and make the radius 0.06 and that's without using finger colliders once again follow my finger collider tutorial it'll make clicking the buttons a lot easier so now when you have that on the sidebar here go to packages you can do the drop down if you 
want and find live creator kit then go to runtime prefabs and now in here drag this lck service helper out into here and actually to make this easier i'll right click create empty and just call it live camera mod just to drag all the live stuff under there so make sure that that's there now go to tablets and then do xr interaction toolkit tablets and then this one that says lck tablet for direct just drag it under the live camera mod thing that you made or you know just drag it into the scene and here we go now what they were talking about before the thing that says powered by live make sure to not remove it it's part of the actual material or texture or something like that so i don't think you can remove it unless you actually change it but you know what i mean just don't remove that but now go up to your left Left hand controller and right hand controller select them both add component do xr interaction manager uh, right there and then also select your left hand controller and right hand controller click add components and add a xr direct interactor and then go to your gorilla player add components do xr interaction manager right there now on left hand controller and right hand controller for interaction manager on the direct interactor click this and do the one on gorilla player and now go to the tablet scroll down and for interaction manager click on it and then do gorilla player and now for the tablet uh if you go under here see grab handles there's left and there's right what you want to do for those go to layer and then add a non-collidable layer if you don't have one just click add layer and then you know type in whatever the name of the layer is whatever and then go to edit project settings then go to physics and scroll down and we're it says non collidable and default just uncheck that and then go out of that and then for left and right select them both layer do non collidable or whatever you called it and then make sure on the tablet that these two colliders are here and they're set there and then for interaction layer mask make it everything now go over to the lck service helper and all of these things are for the video when they record you can change the frame rate all this stuff bit rate whatever but i recommend changing the frame rate to 60 because you know 60 fps and make sure all these things are set if they're not uh you know you can set them but i'm pretty sure that they should be set for you the only thing that you might have to change is this stuff specifically the xr manager and layer mask everything else should be set for you make sure this is on use dynamic attached so then when you grab anywhere here it you know grabs it now i'm going to drag this down here right down there and now i'm going to file save In order to fix that, I'm pretty sure I need to go to cameras and then go to each of these cameras here. Here, I'll select them all at the same time. So I'll do that one, that one, and that one. I'll make the renderer URP and I'll turn on post-processing just like that. And then once again, I'll make sure to save. And I'm going to try again and see if post-processing works. Oh, so now you can see that post-processing is showing up. But just to make sure that it works, I will click record. Now it's recording. Probably going to hear my voice. There I am. I'm going to go here. Stop recording recording saved once again i'll make sure to save just make sure it saves now we can see that this one's saved too click record now it's recording it's probably gonna miss. there i am and here we go post processing is recording and it's working perfectly fine and this is really cool it's a really simple setup as you can see from this video i don't know how long this video is gonna be and if you want you can unpack this i'm sure it'll be fine just make sure to not mess with any of like the buttons and stuff because there's a chance that you could obviously mess something up but yeah that's how you do it it's a really cool and simple thing to add and you know there's no package needed besides the s SDK, which is really cool too and yeah thank you all so much for watching once again if you need any help for this please go to my discord server link in the description and also join that server to be part of my awesome community please comment down below some video ideas that you want me to make also please consider becoming a channel member because you get so many awesome perks including getting to see my videos earlier than the normal viewer and including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like all of the wonderful people on the screen right now thank you all so much once again the link to the live website and the finger collider tutorial will be in the description of this video so make sure to go there please link subscribe because it helps me out so much way more than you think and thank you all so much for watching that's it for me today peace